Hey guys, welcome back to Control Alt Tech. Today, we're going to look at the top five features in iPad OS 18. Let's get into it. So guys, this year, you can actually move apps anywhere you want on your iPad home screen. And this is just so nice. Like this level of customization is it's just it's just it's just what we needed, to be honest. Um, and Android users, you'll probably be laughing in the comments saying, oh, we've had this feature for time, but don't get me wrong, it's still a really nice feature Apple have added, even if it took them a while to implement. Interruption, guys. Guys, do you want to be able to write sums down like this? Well, if you do, then stay to the end of the video where I'll be talking about math notes, which is by far my favorite feature in iPadOS 18 and maybe even in the WWDC 2024 Apple event. Now back to the video. This next feature you're gonna absolutely love, and that is changing your app icons into any color you want. To do this, you need to hold down on the home screen of your iPad and then press edit in the top left corner that will bring up another menu and then click customize and this will bring up a small menu at the bottom of your iPad home screen. Now you can make the apps large or small depending on your preference and you've got it so you can see I've got it on light at the moment but you can make it dark, uh, you can make it uh, automatic so uh, depending on when it's daylight and when it's night it will be light or dark. And then this next one is tinted. Now this is where you can really spend hours customizing your home screen. You can adjust the color by simply adjusting the top slider. So you can see here, I can make it blue. I can make it um, more green, yellow, and you can adjust the saturation uh, using the bottom slider. So that is another really cool customizable feature that, that you can use. Customizing the control center is a brand new feature on iPadOS 18. And to do this, you just hold down on the home screen and then tap add a control. Now you'll, be, uh, you'll see this menu pop up and you can just see how much uh, you can customize your control center from uh, things like a focus mode to your connectivity, um, home, note, you name it. Um, it's, it is really nice to see. If I scroll back up, I want to uh, add the Apple Translate um, to my control center. So you'll see it, it, it comes down here into, into a separate menu. Now, if I hold on the Apple Translate uh, uh, Bicon, and then I can move it up and um, um, drag it around and I can actually resize it so I can make it whatever size I want to I can make it big I can make it small whatever uh, you want to do basically with your control center um, which again you can also do in iOS 18 but um, yeah it's, it's a really really cool feature to have so you'll notice the second menu in the control center which you can hold down and you can add another control so i'm going to add dark mode as my control and uh yeah you can really play around with this um so you've also got um your uh music that you can pause play skip or or rewind um right from the control center this next feature you're gonna absolutely love and that is smart script this smart script feature is actually so, so clutch. So you'll see that when I'm writing text in the notes app, it will automatically straighten my handwriting and make it more neater and just more legible, uh, which is a massive, massive win for those folks whose handwriting is not as clear as VAR technology. And actually is quite uh, an underrated feature it, uh, that Apple announced in the WWDC 2024 Apple event. So yeah, a really, really handy feature, especially for those people out there that use the Notes app a lot. Guys, just to keep in mind that the Smart Script feature is only compatible with the M1 iPad Pro, iPad Air with M2, iPad 10th generation, and iPad mini 6th generation or newer. So guys, let's talk about math notes. And thank you so much for those people that have stayed to the end of the video to see my favorite feature 
on iPadOS 18. So guys, this Matanos feels like sorcery. I mean, I wish we had this in, when we were growing up. So as you can see, it works out the sum in real time. You just have to write down a sum and it works it out like that. I mean, this is absolute magic. I feel like Dumbledore right now. So guys, you can change the expressions now. And so like I can rub a, um, a number out and change it for something else and it will it will do it it will literally do it i mean this this is absolutely insane you can also insert charts and automatically adjust the chart based on your on the sum or the or the cut or the or the expression you use um it, it, this is absolutely insane i mean ah oh, so amazing let's dive into this a bit further so this is the apple event and you can see how you can insert a graph just like that and then also you can change one of the variables uh in the graph and that will actually in real time change um, the graph as you can see here. So it's just an amazing feature to be honest. See, the thing is math note is more clever than you think. So you can actually assign variables in a formula and it will work out the formula just like it's done here, which is absolutely insane. And it can even handle fractions as well, which is absolutely insane. So guys, I think by now you realize why it is just such a cool feature and why it's my favorite feature on iPad OS 18. Uh, so definitely give this feature a try um, if your iPad supports it. Now guys, you might be wondering, well, how do you access math notes? So there's two ways to access math notes. Firstly, within the notes app. So you just open a new note, um, which you guys know how to do anyway. And then uh, through the calculator app as well. So you just click your calculator app. So you click the calculator button at the bottom left here and it'll bring up another menu. Now with this menu, just click um, math notes. And then uh, you can uh, access your math notes in here. You can create a new math notes by clicking the top right uh, button over there. It's, it's, it's accessed by this um, this box with a pen top in the, in the top right corner. You click that and uh, you can access uh, a new note for, for your math notes. So yeah, I, I'm really, really impressed with Apple this year. A very, very interesting feature for sure. Well guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like, share, comment and subscribe so you do not miss a single of our videos. And let us know in the comments down below, what was your favourite iPadOS 18 feature and why? I'd be really interested to find out. Anyway guys, have a great day. Peace.